Sinestra. Welcome back to boss time on level two here for XLA. But before we do that, we need to get underneath these uh, giant trash compactor things that want to crush us. We're also not with our best weapon. That was close there. At least not my preferred weapon. This weapon's okay. The other one is, uh, yeah, it's all right, I guess. It looks a lot stronger than it really is. Maybe that's just me. And here we've got this scary ass looking thing. God damn. It's moon, not quite moonwalking, but it's backpedaling. Presumably because we're firing at it, but we could stop firing and it would still go backwards for some reason. And till it stops. Yeah, it's, the hitbox on this thing is really tricky. Like, I'm not sure. You're supposed to hit it, like, from the front somehow. Like, right there. You see how it, like, makes that sound? And it, I'm really not sure, like, right there. But it's it, it's constantly moving around, and it's really jittery. Really, the biggest threat of death against this guy is accidentally hitting the ceiling. But he's got a very predictable attack pattern. I don't know if his stuff changes on different difficulty levels, if he throws more projectiles or what. But uh, come on, get back here. What are you doing? Yeah, if he, if he throws more of those like slow motion Sunset Rider style bullets there or what. Or if his hitbox is even smaller. See, this is his main attack here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was close. That was too close. And of course you can take out his front gun there if you want. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I don't think that's, you know, I don't think you have to take that out in order to beat this guy. But, you know, let's take it out anyway. Why is it that whenever they, they, for whatever reason, video game developers have managed to absolutely nail that sound. When you, right there, when you manage to get damage on an enemy right there and it makes that like almost like buzzing sound like that is so satisfying that right there like I just love that sound whoa that was close damn like how did they know that that sound would be the right sound for that particular instance but it just whatever it is it just works Sound design and music are things I've always been interested in with, from video games ever since I was a kid. God, am I ever gonna? F That's the thing about this boss is that it takes a long fucking time to beat him. I'm on my last guy here for this continue, so I better fucking beat this guy. Damn it. This battle is very long. You gotta take your pick your spots because. It's not like you can get ahead of the guy and fire on the guy when, uh, oh shit, oh shit, when uh, he moves all the way to the front of the viewing area there. When I played this and my girlfriend was watching, she said this boss music sounded like Depeche Mode on crack. We're big Depeche Mode fans. <laughs> Come on already! Wow, that was too close. I suppose it doesn't matter with the projectiles, because I've got two weapons. I can take three more hits from those before I die, but collision with the ceiling or with the boss, no good. Or with that laser right there, that's no good too. Come on already. Jesus. There we go. Thank you for dying. Really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to crumple into a smoldering mass of iron and metal and steel and whatever else you're made of. So, onward ho. Do we get another weapon for this one? I believe we do. Yes, we do. So, we get this... It's called a needle cracker. Installation is complete. Good luck. I, never, I never really looked at the weapon names up there before until now. Interesting. This, this is a homing gun of sorts, but it's a lot more powerful than the other weapon in its place. And this music is kind of goofy. It's like... I don't know. It's just... 
It's not like the rest of the music in this game. This music's kind of like, swing your partner around and round. It's got like a freaking swing vibe to it almost. It's got the Burundi drums, like how Adam Ant. Never mind. Never. I'm just rambling. I hate this. Ah. Oh, come on! Careful. There we go. You have to really kind of... Oh, that's bullshit! Uh, all right. Well, we're going to use our first continue. Let's get through this godforsaken level. This is probably my least favorite level in the game because it's the least interesting. It's really not a lot going on here. I mean, I guess the aspect of blasting your way through this uh, PVC pipe maze, whatever it's supposed to be. It's kind of neat, but the boss is kind of blah. The terrain is kind of blah. The music is kind of goofy. I like the other levels a lot more. It's pretty hard, though. I'll, I'll say that much. Shit. God, I should have switched guns before that part. It's another aspect of strategy in this game is that if you come across a part like that that you know you'll have trouble with and you'll, you're going to take a hit, switch guns to a gun that you don't ever use or a, a much less powerful gun and absorb the hit with that gun so you lose that weapon and it won't be a big deal. Uh, where am I going? Okay, there we go. Get up. Come on, really? Oh, just barely made that. Alright, what's coming up here? I honestly don't remember. Is it the octopus things? Yeah. You got these goofy ass guys that just pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, as you can see, kind of a boring level. Not much to say. When I see the Mars landscape like this, I can't help but think of the movie Total Recall. Just watched that on Netflix the other day for about the 300th time. Get your ass to Mars! The, the main villain in that movie always cracks me up at the very, his monologue at the very end. He talks about blah, 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 and I'll be home in time for cornflakes. Shit. Took a bad hit there. Yeah, this, this guy's not that hard, but oh uh, yeah, all my fucking weapons are gone. This is bad. Circle around. Yeah, see, you can take three hits from projectiles and you can still fire. You just won't have... A special weapon. You got this weak little pea shooter here, so this will probably take a while, a lot longer than it normally does, to kill this guy. However, if you if all three weapons are damaged and you take another hit from a projectile, just like that, you get you're done, son. See, this guy won't last nearly as long now, though. That I've got ooh, free guy, cool. There we go. So. Slow moving level too. I guess it's on par with the pace of the other level, but I think side scrollers, side scrolling levels are more pleasant when they when they're a little slower paced. I don't know why that is. Whoa, shit! That was really close. That was also very close. I should be a little more careful. I think we got another maze. We got to blast our way through here, and then it's the boss, if I remember correctly. Excuse me. Uh, oh, more of these things, I guess. There's nothing more frustrating than a, a shoot 'em up that's really slow paced. Like this is slow paced for this game. Um, at least in my opinion, it is. But there is games like Blazion. Holy shit, that game is the slowest piece of shit ever. Do not ever play that game. It is. Oh. I Oh, I'm invincible, I might as well... Oh, there. Come on. <sighs> Alright, boss time. And I got all three weapons and two guys, so... Yeah, the game Blazion is slower than shit. It is... It's an awful game. Crawls along at a snail's pace. Hardly any enemies. It's bad. Okay. Is this the witch hat boss? I think it is. Looks like a... The spaceship looks like a witch's hat at first, and then it morphs into something else. Yep. Okay. Damn it. Hit number 
number two, not good. You have to kind of go the opposite. Headed. There we go. Now I'm in a good rhythm here. There we go. Still got one, one weeping. Now he goes into his second form. I blast his ass open, and he, this thing materializes, and now it's just dodge the two lasers. Ah, son of a bitch. Come on. Once again, I have to do this with one fucking guy. I don't want to do this whole level again. Yes! Excellent. There we go. All right, we're going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.